Welcome builders, it is your here. Welcome back to the Inspiration Series. Me and the Isoda, and I'm on the UTP server, my server play.userblocks.net. Big shout out to my sponsors, picklehosting.com. Use the code Anisoda for 15% off. Look at the house behind me. Isn't it gorgeous? It's by It's Toby, and I love it. <laughs> Let's start with a spin around the outside and see why I think this is a good house. Oh, bit of floating tree. Lots of floating trees. Ooh. I got distracted by the leaves. Kind of the overall effect of these trees is pretty smart, actually. Okay, let's concentrate on the landscaping first of all, because I've started looking at trees for some weird reason. Okay, it's got some bushes, some plants. Kind of cool, pretty ordinary, but pretty smart. A little driveway here. He's used the UTP texture pack. Of course, you can download it. Link in the description to andyzura.com. Gravel, stone, stone bricks. Makes a nice little combo, random combo. Uh, what else has he got? Oh, striped lawn with leaves. That's a good way of doing a striped lawn. I never thought of that. That is actually kind of genius. Not gonna lie, that's kind of genius. Nice little lawn. Pretty straightforward landscaping actually. This is pretty straightforward and but it's actually really mega mega effective Just a little border some leaves some plants. He's picked um, one or two plants and stuck with them He hasn't gone crazy with four or five different plants one or two is kind of all you need right? Let's reduce the old flying speed and have a look at the outside. So Windows here. We've got a one two three four five we've got an 11 wide wall an 11 wide wall i like these walls because when you come to put two if you come to put a window in it you can just go to two three by three windows like this is a three by three window with a gap in between but further to that if you wish you could split it up and he and he's done that toby's done that with pillared quartz little hug to the sign corral that style here toby production well done it's to be or to be it's to be or not to be Really neat, really awesome windows. Got these kind of triple windows, and then maybe this is probably a dining room. Would this be a dining room? Oh, there's a little office in there. Okay, that kind of works as well. Multiple window designs, but they all have this common theme of the quartz pillar, uh, the pillar quartz block going up between them. Oh, he's even got a lamp, uh, like a lamppost? No, a drain pipe. <laughs> that is pretty smart, actually. That is actually working out really nicely. Little drain pipe there. What else is going for him? Uh, nested, got this kind of gable window here with a very fancy bit. This is really fancy how this wraps around. That's kind of unusual and he's used the chisel quartz and the stone button. That actually kind of works. And then this is the kind of the entrance way or just to the side of the entrance way. He's got this other gable here and this gable sweeps up and has the same line. See that gable coming down here? It's the same line coming down. That's a real nice feature as well if you're building your own minecraft houses so using bricks and um, we love the brick texture in this pack big thanks to spudinator5 for doing that a while ago and the back of the house here has got all the sun on it and it is looking kind of cool got a big porch and a balcony at the top here with a little door as well be interesting to see what room leads on to that Wow, can't fault this outside. This is kind of perfect. This is a beautiful, beautiful Minecraft house. I hope you guys are inspired to build your own Minecraft houses after seeing Toby's. And some little simple windows at the side. See the side windows? Not as big and also not as well detailed and that's fine. You want to spend your money when you build your house at the front. This is the impression that you want. I noticed there's no garage. Is that right? Is there no garage? Oh, garages are at the side. I like it when garages are at the side of the house. I really do. I think that's a nice feature because you just look at the house and you go, this is the windows. This is where people live. This is the doors. This is a house for humans. It's not a house for cars. I don't know. If it's this, has this got cars? See, this house as well. Again, you look at the house and it's for human beings. It's not just for cars. So I do like the garages being tucked out of the way. Let's have a look inside the house so he's made big use of the acacia doors which are kind of opaque um stacking them up with a bit of world edit okay brown carpet here Ooh, we like the brown carpet and he's put a little bit of see that's very sneaky <gasps> uh oh uh oh nobody saw that run away run away uh you can hang your coats up you've got some books here very fancy entrance way indeed a little bit of light coming down i like that Really cool staircase. God, I can't fault this house at all. This is very smart. Wow, a little tucked away bookcase under here. That's kind of unusual. 
but actually really works. So in here we saw the office from before, little home office. Detail everywhere in the ceilings. And this is kind of a new block for 1.12 in our texture pack, this dark oak. No joke, is actually really smart. So around here maybe kind of a snug or a TV room would be a preferred. Yeah, that is a snug or a TV room. Pretty smart way of doing a lamp as well, super simple. So this is leading around into a kitchen as well. So if you're if you're preparing a meal, you can come and just sit here and uh, watch TV while the microwave uh, does its thing. That's kind of the way I prepare meals anyway. <laughs> Let the microwave do the work. Okay, so seeing straight through the house, I think is often a really nice feature when you can kind of come in and see right through the house and maybe out the other side through a door or a window. Uh, it's a really nice kind of architectural feature. Oh, this could be a half bathroom, okay. Interesting, I would have probably had the entrance from that from the hallway. So that's the, my first grumble. I would have definitely not had the entrance to the bathroom in the dining room, but that's just a minor grumble. And then we've got laundry here, and this is leading into the garage. This makes sense. Okay, and I love that player head. This looks like soap suds all the way. Garage is working really nicely, really simple. Spare tires on the wall. Do my standard, oh, I'm feeling tired joke. I am feeling tired, I've been working hard today. Loads of videos coming up. Village Transformation Series. If you haven't seen my Village Transformation Series in the last few days, it's season two of the village. You can do slash warp village two. And this is where I've got to so far. Oh, uh, I need to be in the default texture back. So it's gonna look kind of weird. Not too bad actually in the UTB texture back, but that's all I've done. One build so far, one L-shaped house is all I've done as I was recording this, but there's probably quite a few episodes up by new. All right, so that's dining room. And then formal kind of living room here as well. I really like how kind of snug and compact this house is. Really, really smart indeed. I think the windows really make it um, for me. I mean, if you want to study windows in Minecraft, come and see this house. This is actually pretty much perfect windows in terms of how the, how the, the rooms are laid out as well. Although, let's have a look. What room is this? What room is this? It is a bedroom. Okay, I really love this. This could be the master bedroom, I guess. He's got... A walk-in, wow, oh my word, this is an absolute enormous, enormous walk-in bath. Look at the size of this bathroom. <gasps> Double sinks, cover in the shorner, walk-in wardrobe. Wow, oh my word. This master bedroom is taking up like a third of the house or even a half of the house at the top. And look at the size of that bed. And even got a laptop on the bed, no way, no way. The detail, okay, so up here I'm expecting at least two more bedrooms just to kind of fill things out a little bit. We've got a bedroom right here. Is this a Juliet balcony? Oh, they have their own little private balcony as well. Are you kidding me? Oh, I forgot to go out. I forgot to go out. So this ba this bedroom has its own little bathroom as well. It's not a Jack and Jill bathroom. Oh my goodness. This person has got a walk-in wardrobe as well. <laughs> Spare toilet paper. This is great, isn't this great? How 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 well has Toby done? One of the one of the best builders on the server, kind of in charge of huge parts of the map. Uh, so that's a shared bathroom. Has he got a further two bedrooms, three bedrooms in total plus a master? Is is this a bathroom? Oh no no no, that's walk-in wardrobe. Okay, so that's kind of unusual that this person has to go all the way out here to get to the walk-in wardrobe. I would have probably done an entrance here, as well, sealed that up. Hmm. In fact, no, what am I talking about? That is the entrance to their bedroom. So this bedroom has a little lobby as well. Okay, that's kind of luxurious, actually. That really works out. So we're going to nip out the master bedroom balcony here and just have a look over the property. Fantastic build. I love this neighbor. This is Warp Delmount. Uh, places are still up for grabs if you're a builder on the server. And if you're not, you can apply on andyazioda.com. <laughs> got com. But you've got to be pretty good. You've got to be one of the goodest builders in Minecraft on Hoosies. If not, you can come on to the server. You can do... Uh, you can come on and get a plot for free. Just ask one of the staff to promote you to Padawan Plotter. And you can come on and build for, for free with World Edit. If you want to support me on Patreon, if you like my channel enough, you can come and support me for $1 on Patreon. And for that, you get your name in the Jedi Temple, like this, slash warp Jedi Temple. You would get your name 
on the wall like these supporters here this is a jedi temple i built if you want to see this this uh, video if you search jedi temple you should be able to spot this video on my channel again i'm in the utb texture pack so it looks much 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 better in default let's quickly change into default and if you also want to come onto my server and uh, support me on patreon for five dollars uh, then you get coaching on the patreon plots and if i do slash back to go back to the house and then um yeah you can get five five dollars worth of help uh, per month, which is actually quite a lot of my time uh, helping the patrons. There's not many patrons right now doing that, but you can come and join and get help coaching on how to build houses in Minecraft. And I'm sitting there uh, all day on the server, just building away, chatting to people and helping out all the patrons. Um, but you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that at all. It's just if you feel like supporting my channel. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Very much appreciated that you came and had a look at this video. We've stayed all the way to the end. Let's put a secret word in this video. If you stayed all the way to the end and you watched the entire video, the secret word is camel. The secret word is camel. You've got to work camel into your comment somehow and I will guarantee to reply to all the camel comments. Thank you again for watching. Do come on the server, get some inspiration, count the blocks, warp down, man. I'll leave the uh, coordinates in the description as well. Take care. Ciao, ciao. Be the blocks. Be with you.